Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Priscilla Nieto and if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. So today is going to be a chatty random video. I have no rhyme or reason behind a lot of the things I'm going to be saying. It's just thoughts that have occurred to me based off of some things that have been happening in the YouTube community that I really want to address. So first off, I am a new YouTuber. If you don't already know that, um, you can tell by my subscriber count and my view count is very low. I don't have a lot of following right now. And that's okay because I'm just starting out and I don't expect to have a big following right away. You have to be consistent and upload and just hope and pray that people love your content. But I am starting out at a time in YouTube where we are just crowded with Bloxember, Vlogmas, um, shopping hauls, Christmas shopping hauls, presents, and all these things on YouTube that are totally great and that are really fun to watch. I enjoy watching a lot of those holiday videos too. But I myself am at a point in my life and my YouTube career or, you know, hobby. It's not a career yet, but just a point in my YouTube journey, we should call it. Let's just call it a YouTube journey that I'm not capable of doing Vlogmas, Vlogcember, doing a bunch of holiday videos where, you know, oh, do it yourself ornaments, um, putting up your tree, all of these other great things that I see a lot of YouTubers do nowadays um, within the month of December. I am not capable of doing that right now. And here's why. I just moved from Alaska to Texas, if you don't already know that. If you go back and watch some of my previous videos, I explain a little bit about that and why I made the transition. But that meant that I basically had to quit my job, find a new job, I had to save up my money, I have to buy groceries and bills and you know pay my bills and do all of these things that concern money for the simple fact of living because i'm no longer living in alaska in my parents house where you know rent free parents provide everything the joys of living with your parents and that means that my budget is in such a way where i don't have the money to go and spend on a christmas tree these ornaments all of these fun holiday things that i would love to be able to do in the future but right now it's just not something that i feel like i can um, manage with my money at the moment and i know some people are going to look back to my paul mitchell product review and think oh, you just spent $17 on a shampoo, but you can't put up some holiday things in your home. Um, what's your priority? Well, basically, I justify it as when I got the shampoo, I only wash my hair once a week. That's going to last me a super long time versus spending all this money on a Christmas tree and ornaments and all of these expensive things that add up over time that are only going to be up until New Year's and then I'm going to take it down unless I want to be weird and have, you know, Christmas decor in my background when it's already February. And so I just, that's not realistic. Does that mean I shouldn't upload videos? I shouldn't start my YouTube channel until all of the Christmas holiday craze ends? No, not necessarily. I feel like since I want to start this YouTube channel and I want to be a part of this community, there is no better time to start than the here and now. I will repeat myself. There is no better time to start than the here and now. And I say that because throughout all of this crazy time of the holidays and everybody doing all of these great and awesome videos, it could get discouraging for a new YouTuber to come in and want to start, but then, oh, I don't have vlogmas like everybody else. I don't have trees in my background or lights or any of the great stuff that a lot of other YouTubers have. And I'm not saying other YouTubers that have that is a bad thing at all. It's a great thing that all of these YouTubers that dedicate their time and effort and money to do these videos have those things that they want for their videos and that they want to attribute to the season that we're in, which is Christmas. And I totally get that. And I support those people and I love those people. And I feel like it's such a great thing that they're able to do that. Does that mean I myself need to feel bad that I can't obtain those things or I don't have the means to have those things right now? 
absolutely not. I feel like I need to just kickstart my channel, make videos, do what I love to do, despite not being a part of the part of the YouTube community where it's Christmas videos and things like that. I mean, yes, the only Christmas part about me is my t-shirt. Yes, it's a Christmas story. I mean, you can't you can't beat this. I wear it all year round, even when it's not Christmas, but since it is Christmas, this is the one Christmassy thing I thought I would wear today. But aside from that, I don't have a lot of Christmas content on my channel right now, and I don't think I'm going to for a while because I just don't have the means to. And this also translates into new YouTubers in general. In the general sense of you're starting out, you're working off of your laptop, your phone, you don't have a tripod, you don't have all these lights and editing things on your laptop that some of them to be really great require money. Or you don't have this HD camera that you bought from Best Buy for like $700 or however much YouTubers spend on their camera. And you know what? That is okay. I want to tell all new YouTubers that it is okay to not have those things. You know what? Everybody has to start somewhere. And if you have to make a video that is of crappy quality, but you put your heart and soul into it and you, you know, filmed what you truly wanted to film and you put your content out there, that is okay and I 100% support you because I'm in the same boat. I don't have all of those fancy things that yes, eventually I do want to obtain them to grow my channel because with a channel comes needing better video quality. And I do understand that and I feel like that is a very necessive, that is a very, you know, part of, sorry, I'm, I'm fumbling my words, but that is a very important part of growing your channel and I feel like in order to grow my channel that's what I'm eventually gonna have to do but that's because you're gonna grow your channel that does not mean you have to start your channel once you obtain the lights the cameras the tripods and all of those other things you can start your YouTube channel in the here and now as I've mentioned before and make it great no matter what kind of quality you have or what you have to work with Honestly, I love the people that despite not having the best, they still upload and make content that they feel confident in, that people will watch and will be attracted to. And that's something that I'm very passionate about. So I just wanted to come up here and let you guys know that it's okay to not have the best right now. I mean, yes, there are some amazing YouTubers like Alex and Michael that vlog. Um, if you don't know them, it's Alex Garza and Michael Mandolina. And they, you know, have a main channel and a vlog channel. And they basically do that as their career where they have their online clothing store. They do YouTube and you know that's basically all they do to make their money and they have two homes in different states they have an office that they're renting they have a child together and they can do all of that strictly off of youtube and their online clothing store and i'm so happy for them that they're able to do that and work from home and not have to go to a nine to five job i'm so happy that if that is what they want in life then that is exactly what they're getting because they worked really hard for it but guess what? They didn't always start off that way. Alex was doing hair and makeup. As far as I know, Michael was working a nine to five job and they did YouTube on the side. And then they had to grow their channel and had the opportunity to work from home. And that is something that I am so inspired by. And I feel like they are the most humble YouTubers I have ever come across because they literally do it as their career, but when you go and look at their videos, it doesn't matter what the situation, the camera quality, anything that's going on, they still upload and they make it known that they are humble and that they care so much about their subscribers. And it's not just about having the best of the best when they're making the videos. 
and it feels really good and genuine. So that is exactly the inspiration that I want to bring across to you guys in the YouTube community. Because as you can see, I also don't have a great background. I'm just working off of the stuff and the space in my little apartment that I have to use. And while I don't want to be there forever and never have a nice pretty background, that's the current situation that I'm at because I don't have the money to spend on a beautiful background from Amazon. And and I don't have the money to get these poles and hangers and, you know, put a sheet to be my background. That's just not realistic for me right now. But I'm uploading and I'm putting out content that I truly believe my followers, once I obtain more followers and the few people that have subscribed to me already, will enjoy. And there are times where I do feel kind of embarrassed because I want that HD quality to my videos. I want all the things that other YouTubers have in their videos, but that's just not realistic for me right now. And I need to be at peace with that and okay and say, you know what? I may not have the best, but I'm going to put up my best. That doesn't mean that it's going to be great, but it's going to be exactly what I had to work with. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I just wanted to come on here and encourage you guys, if you're new YouTubers, if you're thinking of starting a channel, but you're kind of embarrassed, you don't exactly know if you're going to be able to have the best of the best, don't worry about it, I say. Just do what you can do in the moment and you can grow your channel as you get more subscribers and followers. Oh, and by the way, if you want to, I will definitely go and link in the description box Michael and Alex's um, channel because it is such an inspiration to me. I love all the content that they put out and I fully support them and I totally don't mind shouting them out and having you guys support them. But yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a bit of positivity and just to let you guys know that it's okay to start out wherever it is you're starting out. So I really hope that you take something positive from this video and that it encourages you guys to shoot for your dreams and your hobbies no matter what the circumstance you're in. So I really hope that you take something very, very good from this video and I will talk to you later. Bye!